Hello. How's everybody doing? Hello. So, hi there, everybody. We are indeed on, um, <clears throat> about three and a half hours uh, later than, than usual. I uh, had, had a special social engagement tonight, but um, just got home and ready to stream. Um, the technical issue from last time, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just show what I did to uh, fix it, because maybe, maybe that's helpful. Um, before uh, the encoder preset for my video in OBS, which is what I'm using to stream here, was set to fast. And I guess that was like hogging down a bunch of CPU. <clears throat> that was that was that's what was causing the uh, the stuttering that we were seeing last uh, last time. Um, whereas when I changed it to super fast, um, came out okay. So. Um, yeah, so yeah, that fixed that. Um, yeah, our other folks, uh, I don't know, can y'all see and hear me okay? In the chat, are we, uh, are we good to go here? Yeah, it was definitely not the fire blue. Uh, cool, all right, well, yeah, let's get started. Um, a sec. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's get started. Let's hit a uh, random file. Oh yeah, I'll uh, rub the plushy paint elemental's head uh, for good luck. Hope we get something cool. Um, all right. We got uh, Nordhell. It's a map from 2007. Happy New Year 2008. Uh, all right. Let's have a look at the rest of the... Um, yeah, it sounds like it's just Happy New Year. Um, Eternal. Um, I guess a Russian Doomer whose name I recognize. Uh, this is just one map. It's map map one for Doom Two. So yeah, let's jump in. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it says it's just map one. Okay, in hell underscore D two. Did we get it? Did, uh, I don't know, weird. Um, whoops. Maybe I shouldn't, uh, yeah, use the wrong command line argument. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this is actually map maps 1, 2, and 3. That's fine. All right, let's jump in. Nordhell. Doom 2 edition. All right. Got a cool custom title screen consisting of, like, I think that's one of the pewter pinky miniatures that came with uh, the id anthology. And that's her old pal from the Braum Illustrated Doom 2 cover art. 
<clears throat> this hairstyle is notable, I think. Um, Alright, cool. Let's jump in. Oh, cool. Wow, okay, we're in a snowy landscape. I guess that's what, that's, that's the, that's the somewhat literal Nord hell. Uh, how are they doing this? Is, are these, are these, are these just all, like, lines with a little animated texture on it? I think they might be. What an interesting effect. And yeah, this is very, uh, you know, we're right on the, we're right on the, the brink of December here. Uh, so this is very seasonally appropriate, at least, you know, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, we got, like, a little icy pond here. Fascinating. Um, okay, that's a, that's a cool little scene setter. And we've got, like, an icicle suspended from this feature here. Uh, yeah, what a cool little thing. All right, I assume there's going to be monsters in here. Sort of custom colored imp there. Um, and yeah, this is like a nice kind of snow mansion sort of thing. Alright, we're running into some, some normal doom monsters here. Yeah, they're yeah, they're they're charcoal imps. Ooh, little secret, little candle on the floor marking a secret here. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm digging this. Whoa, that is a very detailed quasi-diagonal banister. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, normal Doom 2 doesn't have mouse look, but I am playing with GZ Doom, which is a modern advanced source port that gives us high resolution and widescreen and all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, quite an upgrade if you've only played Doom 2 on the, on the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, um, yeah, this is a neat level. I like the construction of this. Like, it's got kind of a cool color palette and feel to it. Um, the snow mansion setting, it kind of reminds me of, like, the, s the snow dungeon from Zelda Twilight Princess, actually. I mean, there have been plenty of snow mansions, but, um, I thought of that recently because, uh, we made, like, a pumpkin soup recently. And, and in that part of... Zelda, you assemble the ingredients for that pumpkin soup, and it's tasty. So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, Doom on the Game Boy Advance was a, a fairly impressive port. Um, I think the Doom and Doom 2 ports were actually done by completely different studios with different engines or code bases, actually. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, it was, you know, it the the con you know controlling it with like a D-pad and two buttons and two shoulder buttons was left something to be desired, but um, and they did have to cut down the levels. Uh, I want to say the uh, the Doom One Game Boy Advance port was based off of the um, the uh, the Atari Jaguar port, which. Weirdly, was kind of like the the basis. I might have that uh, mixed up with the PlayStation port, uh, but yeah, one of those console ports ended up being kind of the base that a bunch of other ports used. Um. Whoop. Okay, I had some. Okay, that I guess I need a red key there. Okay. And yeah, I hit that, and that lowers it this down, and I can get. I guess I'm supposed to get just on the other side of this, yeah. Alright, we got a Hell Knight here. Nothing too... Nothing too difficult. Ooh. A little custom sound there. Just gorfed that medikit that I didn't really need. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this fairly late, I mean, anybody who's 
in America, this is going to be fairly late. Whoa! Oh, cool, a winter caco. Yeah, this is a great, like, winter-themed little thing we got going on here. I'm on the uh, I'm on the west coast of the United States. So yeah, it's kind of late here. I'm probably gonna turn in right after, right after I'm done here. But uh, but yeah, well yeah, this has been a cool like you know nice little build up here so far. We've got some tougher baddies. Uh, I like this crack in the ice kind of thing. What if I fall in here? No, okay, okay, I can't. That water is not deep I can't fall. Yeah, I was kind of expecting like a like a like a fake floor, you know, uh I forget which game uh which Doom Engine game first used that that trick, but uh yeah, falling beneath the the ice. Whoa, oh, hey buddy. All right, and with that, we've now got the super shotgun and the chain gun. So we're in business. <coughs> Can jump down here. Oh my gosh, the revenants have Santa hats. That's amazing. That's fantastic. I'm very happy about that. Revenants with Santa hats. I I did not plan this. This is this is, as always, this is this is just this is just hitting that random button. But we got a holiday themed. Yeah, very festive. Can I? Oh, okay. I can just open this now. All right, cool. Um, how close am I to? Uh oh, they're gonna throw something bad at us now. Ow! Bad revenants. They are not bringing holiday cheer. Okay. Oh, I like how they, uh, they they did a little bit of lighting work on the floor here to echo the the contours. That's not a texture either. Yeah, that's like somebody's doing like sort of a custom little ceiling ornament there. That's very well done, actually. That looks really nice. This is this is a way above average uh, map visuals wise. You know, like just the architectural detailing and stuff. It's very you know cohesive and polished. And yeah, it's really delivering that uh, that wintry theme. Yeah. Okay. So there's like a town square kind of area with a. I don't know what that is. I mean, maybe that's like a Christmas tree sort of thing with like a little yellow skull on top. I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We got two keys here. I th guess we're looking for like a blue door. And there it is. Hmm. Hmm. Was I supposed to have hit something here? Or? Okay. Maybe, uh... Okay, yeah. Here we go. Okay. And this gets us onto the other side of this. Now I can go here. Ow. Yeah, Santa Cyber Demon. Cool. Uh yeah, yeah, no no worries about the questions. Welcome. Yep. Just pick a totally random file off id games and we play it. So yeah. Oh that's a that's a hexen texture, I believe. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? Are you ready for holiday festive fun times? Whoa! Oh. I think this is a uh, yeah, that's like a special frosty hell baron. Got him. Well cool. 
Hmm, can't get in there yet. <coughs> no, I couldn't tell that there was anything special about the just the normal human troopers. But that would be appropriate. That's the holiday appropriate gun, I suppose. Okay, now that lets us into here. Oh, and I think, um, uh, yeah, it's playing Joy to the World. Uh, we're just getting, like, a, a classic Joy to the World MIDI. Yeah. So this was, this map was for Happy New Year 2008, but I think it's, it's also definitely getting in some, uh, some specifically Christmassy stuff here, of course. Okay, this is this interesting feature has a yellow key at the top. I'm assuming I can just climb up and up and up it. No, maybe not. Nope. Nope. Cool. Wow. Yeah, I really dig the this uh, this sort of like Tudor uh, plaster and wood kind of house type stuff. It reminds me of Rune actually. Um, which uh, was a was a I worked at Human Head long, long ago. Worked on Rune Halls of Valhalla, so using this kind of texturing stuff for Viking buildings was definitely a definitely a thing we did. Cool. Yeah, and this snow effect. I I don't know how they're doing it exactly, other than just maybe just tons and tons of two-sided lines. But it's a pretty nice effect. It's not like super high frame rate or anything, but you know that's. Um, I think this would work in in vanilla Doom too. Okay, and I need a yellow key to get. Okay, so I need that key. Something I'm gonna do. Probably beat this guy up. Lower the key. Oh. Whoa. These Lost Souls are kind of frosty, too. Alright, I'll bet that that is just lowering that thing. Oh, and it lets out, lets out some snow man kibai, or whatever. Okay. Yeah, the theming, it's a little unclear whether, like, they're just kind of, like, desaturated gray. So it kind of feels like they're, like, they're, they're, they've got kind of a Mr. Freeze complexion. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were not very chill. They were just as ornery as any other mancubus you'd find, really. Snow cubi. Yeah, snow mancubi. Yeah, no, that's good. Abominable snowman cubi. Okay, looks like we're at the exit. Uh, there's still two secrets that we didn't find in this level and one enemy, but I don't know. There's two more levels after this, so... Oh man, and this... <clears throat> this just has Doom 2 just shooting at a straight-up beholder. Straight out of the D&D artwork, so... It's a good intermission screen. All right, I feel I feel some oncoming Christmas music. All right, these these guys are just going to keep on spawning in, huh? Okay. Are they? 
Alright, I gotta turn this music down a little bit. It's in my ears a little too much. Um, Alright, there's just a continual stream of chain gunners that are really uh, harsh in my holiday mellow here because they're just... I know they're just gonna shoot at me no matter where I am. You gonna be cool? Okay. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so we've got these mounds of snow that are actually made out of lots of little stacked sectors. Um, the ambient occlusion, the GZ Doom specific ambient occlusion that I have turned on is doing something very interesting to these shapes. I kind of like it, even though it destroys the mounds of snow kind of effect they were going for. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Doom teleporters do a thing where if a monster is trying to teleport in to a sector and another monster is already occupying the teleport destination, they'll actually hold off. Like, the teleport won't happen. So all probably all that that stream of chain gunners was was just, um... It was probably just, uh... a, 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 a conga line of chain gunners in off in a teleport chamber and then um just yeah with like a little teleport destination area and only once one of them had died with the teleport destination area free up um and allow a new one to teleport in yeah the ambient occlusion is also doing weird things to the sky um which is also kind of neat but also definitely not intended the the people the person making this map in 2007 could not have dreamed of shader-based ambient occlusion wrecking their cool illusions. Um, but yeah, I like this architecture. It's just really thoroughly committed to the, the cheerful holiday atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, the idea of like releasing little Christmas specific add-ons, just any any kind of holiday specific add-on thing is a pretty charming practice. I remember uh DMA slash Psygnosis would do it back in the day for uh they released like multiple years worth of Christmas lemmings things that was just like more puzzles. Um that was just a thing they did. Pretty cute. This is a cozy little interior with a blue fireplace. I like, this is actually, this isn't the stock Doom 2 bookshelf texture. This is an expansion upon that with a lot more books in it. Uh, and I really like it. It's just a nicely appointed library. Alright, there's a couple of lost souls showing up. <clears throat> okay, what did this actually do for us? I guess I could jump into this thing. Oh! Not if I fall off. Okay. Alright, I didn't have to uh, rocket... E3M6 style rocket jump into that. Oh! Here come the jerks. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a good point. Um, okay. So I got the blue key from that. But I can't get in here? Do I gotta do something to open this up? Oh, yeah. I see there's a little switch there. That opens that. Oh dear. Yeah, it's just almost kind of messed up that they're uh, that they got little Santa hats, but I like it. 
Oh dear. Oh my goodness, that's a very unfortunately placed arch vial. He got me good. But now he's dead. Yeah, that was rough. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't actually catch how that arch file came up out of the ground. Or teleported in or whatever. Hmm. Oh, should I have... I think this might be like a little jumping sequence where I get over to that red key. Oh, but that's what that was. Uh, wait. <laughs> Just very cheerful, Christmassy kind of music. Ah, jeez. Ooh, yeah, good good call. Turn the arch vial green and create the Grinch vial. He's a mean one. Mr. Grinch vial. Yeah, that that would have been yeah. Well yeah, you should make your own uh you should make your own Christmas holiday themed wad. Okay. I can do this, right? Yes, there we go. And some cacos reward us with their presence. Ah! How the Grinch stole Phobos. Yeah, no, this is good. I think one of the reasons that people go really, people go really deep and silly on holiday theming is just that it is like relatively, you know, you can you can come up with a lot of it if you just set your mind to it. Oh geez. Ooh, nice little custom sound on the uh, plasma gun there. Okay, got those barons. And is this the teleporter out of the level? Yeah, it's all the enemies. And there's two secrets. Yeah, and clearly one of them is to is involves getting that rocket launcher. But I don't know how strongly compelled I am to go digging for that. I'm having fun just breezing through these maps. Yeah, it's not super difficult. Two thousand nine. Entering two thousand nine. Uh oh. We're seeing a grim portent of what was to come. Oh yeah, we're getting some MIDI some ad lib bagpipes here. And the music. I'm digging that. Okay, this is just like a little hallway of hanging banners. I feel like we're definitely building up into something here. Possibly a boss fight. Yeah, sort of a weird mix of hell stuff and heretic stuff and... I don't even know. Okay, so maybe I go across to here. What a nicely decorated little little space. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, there was a glub glub just there, yeah. Hmm, they're using like the green key, the sort of color-coded key thing there. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so like, it seems like this area outside here might be a combat space? I can't tell, honestly. I don't know. I felt like I hit the edge of that space, and I don't really know where to go from here. Yeah, there's a teleporter down there with some 
plasma ammo, so I probably am going to end up down there. There's, this has got to be a cyber demon fight, right? That's coming up. That's where this is going. <clears throat> but yeah, how do I... Yeah, like, what did I miss here, as far as the navigation? Yep, I got in there. Yeah, I need the blue key. Where is the blue key, though? I don't... I didn't see it anywhere. Huh. Yeah, am I missing something real obvious? Um, yeah, somebody in the chat asking if Doom 3 BFG Editions Doom 2 is okay for mods. Uh, yeah, that is basically going to be, um, it's not identical to the normal Doom 2, uh, WAD file that you, that, that you use to, 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 to run mods with, uh, but it's, a, it's, it's effectively similar. The only things that are different about it, there might be like one or two different, uh, title screens or something, and then the health kits actually have been, the red cross on the health kits uh, have been replaced with something that does not violate the red cross's uh, license, or, or like copyright on, or trademark, I forget, I forget which. Um, so yeah, you can totally play, yeah, any, any mod made for Doom 2, you can totally play with the, the version of Doom 2 that comes with Doom 3 BFG edition. Um, and it should be it should be called Doom Two dot wide same as same as the others. Okay. Um, all right. I see a skull in there. Can I? Okay. I shot that. What did that do? Oh, here we go. That opened up a switch. Now we can go in here. Aha! The only enemy we've seen in the level, a lost soul, just chilling out there. I don't know what to expect. I feel like we're about to unleash ridiculous amounts of boss nastiness, but... Oh my goodness! Okay! <laughs> yup! Alright. Uh, where are... Where are those arch files? Oh, there you are. Okay. Alright. Ah, jeez, it's another conga line of... of... chain gunners, as I, as I called it. Yeah, that is absolutely a welcome to hack situation. Alright, what's up with all these guys? Alright, what am I what am I supposed to do here? These chain gunners are just tearing me to pieces. Oh, and it sounds like they've got hidden arch files behind them so that they're continually being resurrected. Which is annoying. Oh, okay. Well. Suddenly this junk got pretty hard. I just love their Santa hats. 
I still hate Revenants. You know, they're still huge jerks. But they're getting into the spirit of things, and that's that's good. Um, oh my gosh, more chain gunners. Oh my gosh, the enemies just keep on coming here. Yeesh. <clears throat> Alright, this is clearly the... This is clearly an entirely intentional massive spike in difficulty. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be tough. Okay. It's something like 200. It's 200 something in this map. There's a lot of monsters. And they are just full of holiday cheer. Oh, what does this do? Okay, I'm up here. I guess, can I... Oh, yes! Wait, did that do anything? Oh, yes, a little secret shooty switch. Oh, okay, and that just gets me up there? I can't tell, actually. Okay, that caco surprised me. Okay. So, yeah, that basically just got me a chain gun, but that's cool. I'll take it. It's kind of an interesting secret. Shoot a switch to raise a platform up high enough that you can jump off and grab something. Yeah, these bagpipes are... These are endurance bagpipes. Whoa! Some no-flash teleports. Ow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to, uh... I'll be able to take this music. Does anybody who know... Anybody who knows bagpipe music, like, is this a particular... I, I always hear this particular song. I want to say I've heard it played at like memorial services and stuff, so it's clearly like a a culturally important kind of piece of music. But I do not know its name or particulars. Alright, and then I think there was like, yeah, this that guy. Okay, there's a red key. Oh yeah, good call. It is in Lemmings 2. Lemmings 2, the tribes. No, yeah, sorry about the webcam thing. Yeah, that webcam th I... My attempts to diagnose it have been unsuccessful. I really have no idea why it does that. Um... Scotland the Brave? Is that the, uh... Is that the name of the, the piece of music? It sounds like a fitting title. Phew. Okay. I'm gonna get a little brief respite. Yeah, cool. Oh, gosh. Archfiles, man. Not cool. 
Okay. We're now within spitting distance, I guess, of the red key. I don't know. Oh, okay. Just grab it. Oh, jeez. There we go. This does seem like a prime infighting situation. Ow, jeez. Yeah, it was a very brief respite, I guess. Like a couple of seconds. Alright, I'm gonna let these guys... I'm gonna really try to get these guys to attack each other. Ah, oh, jeez. Instead, I just ended up right in the middle of the mosh pit. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Alright, I'll let them rush me this way. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. Hmm. See some skinny skele skeleto skele skele Santas here. Guess I can just cheese them through this weird little gap. Yeah, jeez. All right. Well, that that was not exactly low risk. Okay, I now have the red key. What shall I do with this? Oh, this, this skull smiles, uh, like more so than skulls are usually smiling uh, when you use it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn down this, this nonetheless r rousing rendition of Scotland the Brave uh, before I just for my own sanity here. I think mentally I think of these uh, these pale barons so to speak uh, as I, th I guess I think of them as, as hell knights when actually they are the much more powerful Hell Baron. I just realized that might be a quick one uh, monster death sound that the Hell Knights play. Yep, there is that. Yeah, there is that. There is that Seinfeld wad. Um. Yeah, yeah. And there's there's absolutely Simpsons wads. I mean, there have been Simpsons wads like you know from the first few months that that Doom was out. That is absolutely that is a well that people have gone to many times. Um, is there anything I can do back here? Or I don't think so. Yeah, I've kind of lost, kind of lost my way here. I'm not sure where I should where I should go next. Can go up back out into this space. Oh, okay, and that's just. Can I open this? Definitely need all that health. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh my god, the chain gunners.
yeah, I'm not a fan of the chain gunners. All right, but at least I know I was like that's that that's where the that's where the way forward is. Let's see if I can be a little smarter about it. God. Yeah, just getting stuck into that area is just super painful. Alright. I'll save a little closer to the... Okay. Perforated by a chain gunner. That, yeah. I'm alive. Like, yeah, that is just an unreasonably difficult situation to get stuck into. Like, there's just six chain gunners on either, like, three on either side just pinning you down and just ripping you to pieces before you can get a foothold. So, yeah, I don't know. I would have dialed those chain gunners down a little bit. I think if there had been a higher proportion of imps there, then, you know, that's that's a space where you can dance around in and do a little bit more of a skillful dance. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright, so what did this do for me? Yeah, like, I can go here. did that. Was there another, is there a switch on the other side that I missed? Yes, there was. Okay, and that opens that up. There's an arch file far away. It wants to kill me. Ruthless. What are we looking at for... yeah, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, this map definitely does have nice spaces in it, yeah. I think it's a, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's an attractive well put together map um but yeah they're really like the first two maps were so easy comparatively there's just this right hook across the jaw of difficulty foothold here. Okay. Yeah, and I was actually able to take out those chain gunners there, so... Otherwise they would be giving me a heck of a time, no doubt. Got him. 
Okay, we're making progress here. Ow. Jeez. I just got a revenant rocket right around the corner. I'm gonna reload. I don't I don't I don't mind just rewinding that. Not my finest hour. Hey, hey, hey. It's the guys who are in the tiny closets. Jeez, man. Yeah. So here it's not like chain gunners at close range, it's revenants at longer range. Still a huge problem. But I can kind of retreat back into this space. Um, oh my gosh, like... I totally felt like I was out of the way of that Revenant rocket, but I guess not. Ah! These revenants, they're such a pain. Oh yeah, um, yeah, people in the chat are mentioning that last time I opened with, um, a Get Well Soon map that, uh, Arjuna made me, uh, and yeah, it was his first, uh, finished Doom map. And then the stream, uh, wasn't doing well because I didn't because the encoder wasn't wasn't set up properly. I, you know, I, th th that's the mystery. I don't know why it it that suddenly started happening. I didn't change that setting. Um, and like I looked to see if like the X two sixty four encoder or like the um, ugh, or the uh, or the FFmpeg if any part of that stack had um had changed and that's what had broken it but no oh jeez i lost a lot of progress um and yeah i saw that that get well soon map is now on the id games archive so um and yeah i think it's linked in the in the in the video, in the description for the video that I put up yesterday or whenever. Yeah, like... <clears throat> yeah, because these enemies are so, like... This is such, like, a threatened space. Um... It definitely has me playing kind of conservatively, you know, just like camping out in this safe spot and then just poking my head out and dealing a little damage and then poking back in. Um, you know, I've talked about this again and again on on, uh, on this stream, but that's definitely, that's definitely a bummer um, if that's not explicitly what you want because uh, it, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of boring, you know, like I've spent a lot of time in this little section picking away at all these enemies all across this space. Um, whereas if the level design had given me a little bit more of a foothold deeper into the room, or like kind of a rotating selection of footholds, then, uh, I don't know, I'd be playing in a more interesting way probably, in my opinion. Uh, wow, that Revenant just got a good strong punch off on me right, right when I got near there. Oh, nuts. Yep, that arch file has my number. Alright, buddy. Got him. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic, but... You know, sometimes you want your rev your archvile fights to be anticlimactic rather than rather than exciting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting through this map. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I can go down here. Oh, I can get some armor, which I very much want, or not. 
Maybe I will fall down and miss it. <clears throat> there we go. 200 armor is well worth it. So where can I get up there? Or? Such a classic squeaky door sound. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something that I should do that lowers that yellow key pedestal thingy. Like maybe that. Oh, I see, and it raises these stairs up. Alright, now we just got a large crowd of demons situation. Alright. So clearly Oh look, there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a tannin a tenon bomb. Christmas tree type thing. Uh, that's very cute. It's a nice little, nice little staging of that. All right, what's happening? Oh, I see. It raises a little walkway out to the yellow key. A bunch of flyers show up. Whoa! Okay. So we got that yellow key. Where do we go now? I forget. Oh, there's probably another. There's probably another switch somewhere out here in the main area. Yep, there it was. And this opens up the main area. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was, that's a Doom player. That's a human Doom Marine. And it just showed up and just murdered me instantly. What the heck? I've never, I mean, I, I, I guess I have seen an NPC Doom Marine type thing, but I was really not expecting that. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can actually get here now. Die! And I killed myself. <laughs> oh lordy! Alright, so this guy's going to teleport in. And he's going to be plasma-ing me. Alright, got him. Jeez. That was quite a shock. Oh, cool. Some little stairs raised up. Oh, jeez. This might be, the, this might be the, f the finale coming up here. Alright, I can go up these stairs. Walk across the bit where I was. I heard that cyber demon aggro. Probably gonna have to face him. Oh jeez. Oh my god, I hate those humans. They're so speedy. Jeez. What do I do about them? Got him. Yep, two shots with the super shoddy. That's all it takes, but, uh... Up. Oh. Okay. It's on. Alright. 
Um, yeah, what do we do here? Like, I guess I can kill this guy. Uh, the cyber demon does not appear to be holiday themed. Doesn't doesn't have a little Santa hat or anything. That's kind of a bummer. Got him. All right. Did it. Okay, is this the end of the level? No. Oh ho! There's the blue key. And can I? Oh, there's like a little door up there. Weird. Okay, there's a way back in here. Okay. This is definitely feeling kind of home stretchy. I don't know for sure, but... Only, ah, okay, this does lift me up here. Okay, alright. So I'm in this space. I've gotten the blue key. Oh, and maybe the, is there like, is the doorway out of here? Yeah, do I go through here? Yeah, I think this is where I go. Oh, God. No more, no more Marines, please. I feel like we're getting close to the end here. Alright, I see a megasphere. Kinda want that. Hmm, some sort of multi switch situation here. Yeah, what did that do actually? Oh, that looks like it's outside. Is that the the greener pastures of outside Castle Wolfenstein kind of thing. Hmm, interesting. Do I have to go across the other way as well? Hmm. Yeah, let me backtrack a little bit here, because... Or is this, is this just a total... Nah, yeah, that probably is, yeah. Okay. All right, so how do I how do I get out of here? Is there anything else that I can interact with in this in this room? Yeah, this is definitely the exit. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can get in there. Yeah, the overhead map for this does look really nice. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's a it's a it's an attractive level. I forget if they've... I can't tell if they've modified the palette or not, but, um, yeah, looks good. If I shoot these things, does that do anything? No. Sometimes, you know, like, Doom Episode 4 uses, like, the use, use a switch, use a torch kind of language. Man, this is a bummer. I, d I don't know. I feel like I'm right at the end here. Got 21 enemies left. 
Some of which have got to be those jerks back there. Am I? Am I? Is there something on the on the hole on, on the other side of this space that I'm supposed to do? Or I can't tell. Yeah, weird. Damn. Uh, yeah. Anybody have any ideas as to like how I'm supposed to uh, I'm supposed to proceed? Yeah, I feel I feel pretty foolish here. Um. I guess there was a whole area back. There's like a whole area back here. Whoa. Cyber aggroed. I don't know what that was about. Uh, this is a space that I have not been into. Yeah, how do I get in there? Weird. Hmm. Did I just miss a whole little section of the level here? Or? Is this... I think this will teleport me back outside. Yep. Don't want to do that. Already been there. Oh, hey. Uh, I thought I already killed one cyber demon here. Guess I could do another. I don't know if that does me any good, though. Like, I'm assuming that doesn't cause a wall to come down or anything. Guess I can check. Ugh. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we're, yeah, we're basically right at the end here, and, uh... I don't know what to, uh... Yeah, that stuff, that junk is still, still closed up. Huh. Yeah, there's this whole little wing of the map that I don't know how to, uh, how to get to. Oh, there's like a little... I see a teleporter over by where I fought one of those one of those marines. So maybe I'll go there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's that's my best guess. So let's try it. Oh, well. It's up there. What did that do? Uh-oh. And I hurt myself real bad. Shooting rockets. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't too swift. Huh. Yeah, how do I proceed? What's, uh, what's going on there? Ugh. Yeah, and I don't think I get into this whole space. Whoop. Oh ho. Oh, this is that whole secret area. Okay. Alright. I'm in the secret area. Is this one of those actually part of the critical path secret areas? Or... Ah, jeez. <laughs> Frickin' dooms.
getting a little better at fighting those dooms. Okay, cool. Aha! This is our way out. I got the Megasphere. There's an arch file. There's two arch files. That's great. Okay, that was a that was a little arch file surprise right at the end there. Yay, I made it out into the snow. And now we're back in map four. Cool. Well, yeah, that was a nice little uh, holiday-themed... That was Nordhell by Alexander Eternal S, a.k.a. Deadall. Um, yeah, Happy New Year 2008. I remember that year. I was alive then. Most of us were. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that was yeah. That was that was pretty fun. That was a, that was a good. I'm glad we put we put we we drew that level in a kind of snowy, wintry time of year, at least for some of the planet. Um, yeah, that was pretty fun, man. That last level was a beast. Like some really tough fights there. Um, but yeah, that was well done. I I definitely liked all the all the care that went into like the aesthetics. The Santa hats on the revenants are super charming. Uh, yeah, and that ended up being like yeah yeah I'm I'm definitely tuckered out. I definitely don't have another level in me. We've been at it for for about an hour. Um, so that is my doom and for the night. But yeah, that was fun. That was a good little holiday themed level. Um, oh yeah, and my goofy face has been here the whole time oh well um yeah thank you for thank you all for tuning in um sorry about the technical problems sorry about uh, the little delay in getting started i think uh, next week we'll be back on our regular time but yeah thanks so much for dropping by and watching me stream this very festive holiday level and yeah i'll see you next time have a good week <laughs>